The American Civil War tends to overshadow events that occurred in the Western Hemisphere during the 1860s. But with the United States embroiled in war, European powers attempted to reassert influence back into prior colonial lands. In late 1861, the British, French, and Spanish agreed to join forces to get Mexico to pay back long-term debts. However, the French had different ideas, and this attempt to receive back debt turned into the Second French Invasion of Mexico. In 1857, Mexico became embroiled in a civil war that pitted forces of liberal reformist Benito Juarez against conservatives led by Felix Ugala. Conservatives exerted control from Mexico City and the liberals from Veracruz, the largest port of Mexico. After large amounts of fighting, the United States recognized the Juarez government in 1859, and in January of 1861, liberal forces captured Mexico City, gradually strengthening Juarez's position and legitimacy. However, continued instability had coincided with growing foreign debt that was increasingly difficult for the government to pay. The conservative debt was dropped onto the already indebted liberal government, and the stipulations of the loan soon caused more debt and interest than the original loans. Eventually, the government was driven to stop the monthly payments, which caused the British, Spanish, and French to establish the Convention of London, drafting a treaty in their upcoming military campaign to force the Mexican government to pay their debt. On December the 7th, a combined European force launched an attack on Veracruz. The Allied forces occupied Veracruz and advanced to Orizaba, where they camped for the winter. In February of the following year, Campeche fell to the French fleet, with heavy French reinforcements arriving weeks later. However, the Triple Alliance fell apart by April of 1862, when it became clear the French wanted to impose harsh demands on the war's government and provoke a full-out war. The British and Spanish withdrew, leaving the French to march alone on Mexico City. Following this, the French managed to gradually gain control over more and more land, with many conservatives seeing the invading French as valuable allies and aiding them where possible. The Mexican army fought its first major battle against the French in the Battle of Puebla on May the 5th. Following the unexpected Mexican victory, the Juarez government commemorated the battle as the national holiday of Cinco de Mayo. However, while the battle managed to stall the French until they got reinforcements, it would be short-lived. The following year led to the Second Battle of Puebla, which resulted in a Mexican defeat and the French occupation of Mexico City. On April the 30th, the French Foreign Legion earned its fame in the Battle of Camarón, when an infantry patrol of 65 soldiers, led by the one-handed Captain Jean d'Anjou, was attacked and besieged by Mexican troops who eventually numbered 3,000. They were forced to make a defense in a nearby stable, where Danjou was mortally wounded and his men mounted an almost suicidal bayonet attack, fighting to nearly the last man, with only three legionaries surviving. To this day, the anniversary of April the 30th remains the most important day of celebration for legionaries. Following the capture of Mexico City, a junta proclaimed a Catholic empire on July the 10th, offering the crown to Austrian Archduke Maximilian I. This resulted in the official proclamation of the Second Mexican Empire, a puppet state under the French. Maximilian failed to garner much in the way of support from the local populace, however. His policies were rather progressive for the time, such as his desire to abolish child labor, limited working hours, and abolish the current system of land tenancy that essentially enserved large sections of the native population. This was too liberal to please Mexico's conservatives, who originally backed the French, and the nation's liberals refused to accept a monarch, leaving Maximilian with few allies within Mexico and largely bound to constant French support. Following the end of the American Civil War, the now reunited nation started to deliver much more arms and support to the liberal government in Mexico, putting diplomatic pressure on France to withdraw their support, and this happened in early 1866, as France valued the American relations more important than the imperial ambition. Following the gradual withdrawal of French troops from the front, the Republic's forces scored victory after victory, and by February of the following year, were besieging Mexico City. Maximilian tried to escape on May the 11th and was captured, being executed on June the 19th, much to the protests of most foreign powers. With Juarez back in charge, the country started to become more stable. The conservatives were largely decimated due to the support they gave the invading French. The Juarez government wouldn't last long, though, as Juarez died in office following re-election. 
and Porfirio Leo Diaz, staged a coup in 1876 and signed himself as president for 11 terms, an era referred to as the Proletario, but that will be covered in a future video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the first French invasion of Mexico, click here for the video I did about that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.